Namaste, and welcome to Extra Extra. My name is David Coyote. <laughs> I am an energy reader, a Reiki healer, and an Uber driver. <laughs> Today's show will be going over the news from the week with our fantastic panel of experts. Before we get started, I do think it's important, although we're talking about the news that happened last week, let's take a moment to set an intention for the news for the present. If everyone could just close their eyes, put your hands together. I want you to imagine the news you'd like to see and put that intention into your hand. Now rub that hand together, rub that hand together, make some heat, and then set that intention onto your heart. Again, namaste and thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our illustrious panel. Hello, I'm Jadis. I'm the former queen of Chan. I currently reside on your planet until I can garner enough power to take over. I am a former presidential candidate in the last election, and it did not go my way. <laughs> but it shall not happen again. Thank you. Thank you, Jadis. Namaste. What? <laughs> <laughs> ABC News 17, I'm Tucker Camp. You probably remember me from my failed presidential run last, last campaign as well. <laughs> That's not a joke. I ran for presidency, but I did not get it. I tried to show the American people an inside look to our political system, and in the end, I was made a joke. Apparently no one respects the media. This was something that came as a surprise to me. <laughs> I've tried to make inroads with the new administration. I even got certain hair extensions, and they still do not want me a part of the press pool. One way or another, I'm going to get to the truth. Good evening, I'm Devin C. If you're wondering what the C stands for, it's none of your business. After my failed presidential run, I went back to my secret organization, the Yelp Elite Squad, where I've written 1,723 reviews. And now I'm bringing my opinions and stances to news punditry. I promise you my opinion is the best, the clearest, and the one that you will find fun and useful. Let's have a seat. Yes, the current administration has had an antagonistic approach to the media. As a member of the media, how do you feel about this? Well, I feel when you ask someone from the media to get you coffee in a White House press briefing, you should get that coffee order correct. Agreed. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll throw the coffee in your face. This didn't happen to me. This happened to one of my colleagues just last week. Karen, we're praying for you. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I feel like I answered that question perfectly. It was well done. Now, James, you agree that it's okay to throw coffee into someone's face? I was agreeing with the fact that should you ask someone to do something for you, they should immediately do it. Immediately. <laughs> Tucker, what kind of coffee was it? Curry? <laughs> It was a Keurig. Shitty coffee. It's okay. It was a red eye. Keurig red eye. <laughs> I met someone with red eyes once. <laughs> Breaking news, a woman has met someone with red eyes. <laughs> Live now to the story. It was a troll uh, living on the wood between the walls, and it arrived there at the same time I did. <laughs> I couldn't respond to it at the time because my presence was limited. Stuck again, ABC News 17, back to you. <laughs> now, uh, Miss, Miss Jadis, can I call you Miss Jadis? Queen. Queen Jadis. <laughs> uh, would you say that you are an immigrant here in our country right now <laughs> since you came from a foreign land and are now here? I don't really deal in terminology, per se, but um, <laughs> if you're putting a label on me, uh, I might kill you. 
<laughs> that is quite fair. That is quite fair. So are you in favor of perhaps building a wall to keep other maybe superpowered individuals out of our country? I have no fear that there's a superpower higher than me that would be able to undermine my taking over of this world. And I am talking about your planet, not the limited capacity in which I believe you're often speaking about, which is your country. Very good. And so you, you wouldn't want to then build a wall around the planet either. I don't care. Let them come. I will destroy them. <laughs> I have a power that you don't want me to utilize. Fascinating. If I could interject here, as a journalist, we're taught to not build walls, but build doors in our minds to information to truths. As it stands right now, I can't find one key to open any of those doors. <laughs> Devin C. How do you yes. feel about the truth? Five stars. I love the truth. Facts. I dispense truth. I dispense facts in my reviews. For example, Tucker, three-star anchor. I'm sorry, but I'm glad you're out of the game. Um, Janus, five-star goddess. You're welcome. <laughs> and as far as uh, myself being an Uber driver, I did drive you here to the show tonight. <laughs> You are a five-star driver and a one-star host, too. So, <laughs> I have some growing to do. You do. Both internally. But you know what? That's the truth. That's why I respect it and value it. <laughs> Five stars for the truth. Thank you. That's fantastic. I wrote a star once. <laughs> <laughs> it was a short journey to another universe and back several thousand years at the least. It was um, exhilarating, powerful, and tiring. <laughs> Creatures, how old are you? I, I believe the time of math that I'm going to do is probably, you wouldn't understand, but in, in your maths, from what I can make of it, probably, I don't know, 50,000? <laughs> this just in. Breaking story, 50... Thousand-year-old woman is now seated amongst us. Please tell us what happened fifty thousand years ago. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> it's these kinds of getchy questions that have fucked me up in my entire career. <laughs> <laughs> said, be more precise. <laughs> Did I say precise? <laughs> Get your questions. It's gotcha. Right, so everyone's correcting the journalists now. So that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. David, would you like me to murder him? <laughs> I still Please. Don't. I would say not yet. <laughs> I would like to offer a movement that Jadis take over hosting the program. She's clear, concise, and powerful. I second that movement only because I'm sitting, I'm sitting closer to her. <laughs> uh, I accept the movement. So granted, Jadis, you are now the host of the show. David. What did I do wrong in my last bid for president that led me to not receive the presidency? I think the turn for you uh, when you murdered your entire staff, because they were working really hard for you, and then when they didn't get your coffee orders right, you murdered them. I did an extensive undercover investigative report on the matter. Well, that's why you lost the election, Tucker. You kept stopping your campaign to report on other people's campaigns. <laughs> happens at light speed. I track at light speed. This was Maybe awesome. I should do the news as well. Are you now submitting a, pr a proposal that you become a news person? <laughs> this is Queen Jadis reporting live from the DC Art Center. And Adam Morgan is a bunch of gentlemen here who are barely human. I don't think anyone in the truck is, is responding to this. Are you not responding to me right now? The simple fact that I don't have a truck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker, Tucker, this is all for show. <laughs> I'm not really in the news anymore, as I said. Once I've failed my campaign bid, they ousted me. <clears throat> are you no longer employed by ABC 17? I'm not. I'm employed by CBA 17. <laughs> <laughs> it's a steam fitters union. Turn <laughs> this upside down and you now see who I work for. The Illuminati. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. It's the only place I could get in clean. That's actually a fine choice. And <laughs> so? If you were going to take a job other than wherever you were working before, that is a choice that will lead you to not be killed. You should have mentioned that earlier. Well, I've mentioned it now. I feel like you can... I can't murder him now. Good. Stay on the, on the execution. Tucker, if you don't mind, I'd love to do a Reiki energy treatment to you right now, just to pull apart some of the oh. stuff I see happening. Oh, um, you can do it, but I've done a report on this. I know it's bullshit, so go ahead. <laughs> Some energy work you done now. Do I need to stand up or sit down? No, just stand right there, and I'm just kind of gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> go around you. Stand right. There. I'm sitting. Nothing's sit right happening. Here. Don't worry, Jadis. It's useless. <laughs> Nothing's just... happening. He's not doing anything. I can see his energy right now. It's just inside his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there. <laughs> I start at the top. I'm opening a hole, an energy hole, so that. <laughs> The stuff from his dick can flow through his body. Up Not to the his dick, your dick. There's no, no energy flowing whatsoever. Okay. What well, starts in my dick goes through my body, into my arms, into my hands. Nothing's happening! This is ABC News 17 for Tucker Camp. I feel extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> David Coyote's energy hole. One star. Pointless, vague, offering nothing but cologne. Hashish. <laughs> the cologne is the hashish. It's not two different things. <laughs> Are you correcting me? Devin C, why do you limit your power to the internet? Because I'm the world's ultimate troll. <laughs> to where I live. I'm not Wait, were you the troll that she met when she first <laughs> came here? Perhaps. <laughs> You, you, run a, you run an internet cafe under a bridge, don't you? That's <laughs> <laughs> where I compose all my reviews. <laughs> it's called Under the Bridge. <laughs> After my favorite red hot chili pepper song. <laughs> and you serve red hot chili peppers as a meal at the restaurant? Don't be stupid. <laughs> that put chili peppers at an internet cafe. <laughs> I do offer red pepper flakes for the pizza slices we serve. I personally don't believe that you should eat a green pepper because a green pepper hasn't fully actualized itself to the end of a red pepper. <sighs> it hasn't grown and changed colors yet and became what it's meant to be. It sounds like you're talking about not eating a fetus pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, you all still have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken no food of any kind? No. How do you sustain life? It just happens. You don't go to restaurants? Cafes? No. Uh, sometimes I go in them. I found several good lackeys there. How do you properly evaluate them? Are you suggesting an alliance of sorts, troll? <laughs> I wasn't until now. <laughs> I moved to switch seats with Tucker. I'll second that. I guess I have no vote in the matter. <laughs> Since Tucker can't move really to the far left of the dais, I feel like I'm farther from the truth. <laughs> now, Queen Jadis, uh, currently our administration has some questionable ties with another superpower in the globe. Would you say that your relationship with Devon C is similar to that? Occasionally, you do have to make an alliance of sorts. Uh, with someone who is significantly weaker than you in order to take advantage of their meager brain perceptions. Don't be so hard on yourself, James. <laughs> <laughs> this Justin, that was an old snap. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <coughs> I'm getting a lot of energy shifting right now. I can just see some colors swaying. Well, hold on, Jadis. I'm the world's most powerful internet critic, okay? What do you offer that my words cannot? Power outside of the term of life. I 
can tear you down with one flick of a paper. I don't need Yelp reviewers or- But they do! They don't know how they feel about you until I speak! <laughs> Jevin C. has spoken. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not offended. They all know that I will immediately murder them. <laughs> Should they side with you? I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> Thank you for sacrificing yourselves for my cause. <laughs> Devin C is so inspiring to see someone live their truth, even in the face of great odds. But I do make a motion that I'm going to sit on the other side of Tucker now to be farther away from you. <laughs> do I have a second? I second that motion. So <laughs> I'd like to point out, I've done a lot of investigative reports where victims and assailants want to blur their faces. What you're doing with that mask is poppycock. We can all see your face, we all know what you look like. This is the worst disguise I've ever seen in my 25 years of journalistic integrity. You're so silly. This is journalistic integrity. I can properly review any establishment I walk into because no one can treat me with favor because they don't know who I am. I know exactly who you are. You're Devin something or another. Aha! Devin what? Devin the weirdo with the mask. Don't they know that you're coming in to review them when you bring your giant folder yes. of stars with the mask on? They're just going to say, here comes that guy with the party mask. Well, hold, hold on. I, I clearly don't wear the same mask. I change masks and I change folder colors. <laughs> I have blue folders, purple folders, Are blue you masks. the only person in the restaurant with a mask on? <laughs> Typically, yes. Uh, when I went to Comic Con one year, though, I was not. <laughs> Blended in quite nice. And what score did you give Comic Con? Two stars. Two? What did you give Awesome Con? One star. Oh my god. <laughs> and you know what? They were the same. But guess what? I didn't appreciate Awesome Con's poor branding. Awesome? I think not. <laughs> for a motion that he is killed. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and second that motion. Queen Javis? Queen Javis. I would love to kill him. Um, it's just that my powers are a little bit limited right now. What? This just in, Queen Javis' powers are being limited something like a kryptonite to Superman. We go now live to Queen Javis for a brief explanation. Um, I'm actually not sure what's happening. <laughs> I, I motion that Tucker kill me. Tucker the coward. <laughs> I've never killed a man in my life. It would be the greatest report of your life. <laughs> Why would it be the greatest report of my life? I once did a report on a 94-year-old woman who could still dance. 